Mozart was pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, and they Bach used and a, Beethoven. Yes, yeah. they used real instruments. At yeah, that time. right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. there was not like a, a kind of a imitation of, of, let's say, saxophone or violin or something. Could I tell you something really interesting in this sure. holiday season in the liver? Like, I saw a thing on the artist, or no, uh, Ovation, that television channel with culture and mm -hmm. everything, and they had sure. a program about the history of the piano. Mm -hmm. A lot of composing has been done on the piano over the long haul. Sure. And they had it down to where Beethoven had composed pieces, right? Yes. That the piano of the time when he composed it were not able to appreciate. And then when the pianos became of a higher quality in 30, 40, 50 years later, there was able to be brought out subtlety and beauty of the composition that the piano at the time that he was composing it upon, was, it was able to be picked up by the, do you understand what I'm yeah. saying? The technological development of the quality of the piano and the instrument sure. that expressed what he was doing. So yeah. it's that genius of the uh, mm -hmm. composer or the lyricist or the uh, composer do you understand what I said? Sure, of you course. Think that's interesting. Uh, mo mo Isn't that, that interesting? Of course. Yeah. A funny thing is, uh, when you are talking about uh, uh, this particular topic, I wrote a song about exactly uh, about uh, Beethoven, how, how unhappy he was. Yeah. And he was basically uh, very often uh, he was not accepted. Uh -huh. And I wrote the, uh, a song. Yeah. If you want me, I have lyrics here. I can read it. Yeah, sure. You know, if you uh, want, uh, whatever uh, you exactly want to do. Exactly about yeah. this. Uh, you, can topic. you get at it easy? Sure. Okay, sure, you can get at I it. You got your notes. He's brought yeah, all kinds yeah, of yeah. notes. And can, so, the uh, trouble so is you're too interesting. Uh, and you're into too many things. We can't get it all in, but we could try. Uh, and you, I happen to bring that up. Have you got it there? Uh, right, sure, ready? I have my lyrics See, he's here. got it ready. Listen. Uh, okay. Uh, I mean, I, I didn't have a plan to read this particular song, but since you mentioned yeah, this. Yeah, well, it just came up. That's the way perfect. life is. Yeah. Uh, 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 I wrote the song called Immortally Beloved. Okay. The, okay. That was about him. Okay. Uh, and I took this scene from the from the movie about him. Okay. Where people didn't appreciate his work. Yeah, often that's when the he case. was gone, then they go like, ah, Mozart he was, was a genius. Mozart was bo buried in a pauper's grave. Yeah. So yeah. was Van Gogh, who never yeah. sold a painting. But go ahead. Yeah. So uh, uh, I'm going to read the, the lyrics of this song. Okay. It's a beautiful song. It's called uh, again, "Immortally Beloved." Uh, found no relief. In the perfect score, the sound of thunder rolled through the land and sea. Mm. Some say it's just a breeze on a sunny day. Why is the world so unjust to me? <laughs> because he asked yeah. every time, you know, what is wrong? You know, I, I mean, a lot I, of people... I do s such a beautiful work, and yeah. and he did s the sound of thunder, right? And, and People didn't right. get it. Yeah. yeah. So no longer comfortable in my shiny, peaceful dreams. Though still bathing in an ocean made of stars, mm -hmm. immortally beloved stands the test of time, swept through the many bells, each left its cars. Mm -hmm. Some birds will never learn to fly, eager to chase the free one in the cage. Mm -hmm. But some birds can only fly high. Mm -hmm. if, if the phoenix ever dies, he dies on the stage. Okay. <laughs> Some love, mm -hmm. uh, since love comes from the eternal gentleness, mm. my art is its baby that I share with all for free. Then, why is the world so unjust to me? Mm -hmm. Why is the world so unjust to me? Oh, you got you got you got you you got a melody behind all that. Of Nary? course. Have you got that it down on tape? Songs. Yeah, but you got it on tape somewhere. You got it on CD or something. Oh, that's going to be on my next CD. No. But this particular song mm. it was written after Beethoven, and uh, uh, basically uh, the the statement is about uh, uh, how people uh, don't appreciate. The work because it's it was true. way ahead of time. It's true. It's true. It's true. Van Gogh was the same, right? Yeah, he painted all absolutely. those things and couldn't sell it one. Exactly. Couldn't get any recognition. And often that's the case because the artist is ahead of the curve yeah, in terms exactly. of the evolution of consciousness. Yes. Right? They are like absolutely. the antenna of the race, the artist. Yeah. But Real when, artist. when, when yeah. the, when the uh, time comes, mm -hmm. Uh, when, the, when the humanity moves uh, into liberation, to, or yeah, something. yeah. To, to some higher level, uh -huh. and then suddenly uh, the gate is open, and they mm. go like, wow. Where wait, everybody wait. do. You hear yeah. everybody in the orchestra that is the human society, the yeah. timpanis and everything, instead of just the drums and the, yeah. the tubas that we hear yeah. now from our political leaders. Yes.